<laughs> All right, so uh, <laughs> hopefully this dries out a little bit. It was dry, and then I set it outside and it got snowed out. Oh, yay, now I don't remember what I said to you now. <laughs> All right, so now that the heater's off, uh, choke cherry. I'm going to do a Rod Humphrey inspired, as he did one of these tight vases the other day, and I thought it was really cool looking. So I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, this is choke cherry. Probably said that already. And I'm just right now I'm just trying to get the gooey stuff off. So this is pretty rotten. It's pretty wet. It was dry. I've been saving it and I set it out there. Thought, eh, I ain't gonna do anything with it. But then I saw that one that Rod did and I figured, well, I'll give it a try. But it's been out there in the snow for a week, you know. <laughs> and it's warming up, so the snow melted, it's soaked right into that punky stuff. Without any hesitations, but hoping I can keep some of this once I get it somewhat round. I need to go sharpen that and I'll be back. a bug it's foam it's mold it's 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 I don't know <laughs> I don't know all right what do you what do I do what do I do hang on I gotta call the wet the wet turn in person hang tight I'm having an awesome day so I have <laughs> according to Kim Tippin two options this way, that way, this way, that way. Um, I'm about to opt for number three and stick it in the oven and dry it and then deal with it after the fact. But I'm gonna try this for now and see how it goes. So let's do this, sand it, or get it wet, keep turning it, <laughs> sand it while it's wet. I, it's not that far, I thought this was dry except for it was laying out there in the snow. So, uh, so that's what I'm gonna do for now. I might stick it in the oven and see if I can get it to dry out a little bit more that way and then deal with it after the fact and so i gotta fill some holes here 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 and here and yeah so it's gonna be interesting but for right now that's what we got going and, and oh yeah that was probably kim kim that was probably you over there answering my goofy look <laughs>
Okay, well, I'm gonna try to smooth this out some more. Let's see where we're at when we get it a little rounder. I do have some repairing to do still. More cracks that didn't fill. Lengthy process, but I'll try to get it done. Ha, huh. all right, so what do I got screwed up now? A lot. <laughs> all right, let me try to fix these one more time. I'm not gonna waste any time letting you all watch that. <laughs> All right, let me get you guys where you can see what I'm doing. I think I'm doing. Anywho, I'm going to use uh, the two to one epoxy with a fast set hardener. Now, see how runny it is. That's because I put 50 50 acetone and resin. Now, th this just keeps blowing apart, it's punky all over. So, I'm going to try this per Kim tipping. And we'll see how it works as I'm just tired of wasting my my CA glue that keeps just disappearing coming out or whatever it's doing I don't have a brush so <laughs> there's Kim bugging me again um, actually just because I asked her about this and I don't have a brush so I'm gonna use this because you know Kim says she wasted her brush but I can waste a piece of paper towel and I'm just trying to get this punky to go away so hopefully I can get it to fill and it's just, it's being a pain and I'm done messing with it. <laughs> well, I'm under the impression this takes a couple days to set up, so, or at least a day anyways, because it's a fast set. So this is what I am doing with this currently. I'm pretty impressed I don't have any on the cardboard yet. <laughs> I assumed it would be all over the cardboard. I'm not sure about these voids. I may just leave them like they are. If I get it stabilized, I'll be all right with it. So this is actually getting gooey. Uh, <coughs> Kim has said this takes about 24 hours to set up this way, even though it's a fast set, which normally only takes 15 minutes, but I'll be all right with it thickening up, filling some of these gaps as the, as the acetone evaporates, I guess. Really? It's less expensive to go this route than it is to use all that CA glue and to have it come out, which was not making me happy at all. <laughs> all right, well, it appears I'm done for the night. I'm going to clean up this mess and leave it and back out and see what it looks like tomorrow. Oh, not 
bad. I like it. I'm not filling those in, but we will see. That's got to go a little bit more, I guess. So I mixed up another batch of that and forgot to turn that camera back on up there. Uh, so it, I'm just trying to feel the, feel the punky down the center so that I can turn this flat, hopefully burn my logo in it, and somewhat seal the bottom of this up. Now it, it, I might have to do it again. I thinned this out with a little bit of acetone so that it would soak down in there. If this continues to soak down in there, I'll just mix some more up and fill it in without adding acetone to it so it fills, fills the voids. But right now I gotta let this dry, so <laughs> I'm out. Next time you see it, it'll probably be back on the lathe fixing that again. I also wiped this down again just in case. No, I hate you right now, Jake Thompson. I really hate you right now. Uh, did I mention how much I really hate you right now, Jake Thompson? I did. Uh huh. All right. So um, I'll put Jake's horrible sanding video up there in that that corner. <laughs> uh, I'm still on the. 80 grit trying to get rid of you can see it right here and that's because this is in the in that void and i pretty much almost got it all gone and it says that your first grid is your most important but wow am i tired of sanding all right i still hate you <laughs> but it's really really makes a big difference how you sand it uh, now that I just made it all rough <laughs> I'm going to leave it like this. I have a hose clamp here if you noticed I'm going to probably wrap this with electrical tape or black tape Then I'm gonna put this hose clamp on here because I don't have any way to support this So I'm gonna put the hose clamp on here so that I can open them jaws up best I can without cracking it and splitting it I think it's just sliding down. <laughs> we'll see, I don't think it's gonna go anywhere, so. All right, so about four and three quarter inches is all I've gone down. Roughly halfway down. Uh, I didn't want to go all the way down because I want some of that weight at the bottom because of how this is shaped to hold this up and not be top heavy. As you can see, it's going to be a lot of really light cuts. <laughs> Hopefully it stays on there. And 
That's how light the cuts are. <laughs> this is gonna take me a minute, so I may skip through this a bit and save you all the hassle of watching all of that. Because I think it's gonna take me a while. So again with the, the acetone in the fast set, two to one epoxy. Uh, the idea for this is, you know, it's it's more of a, a stabilizing agent without without actually using the vacuum chamber. And put some fast set or something else in it with the tape. But right now what we want to do is get this down here. And then the rest I'm just gonna kinda use paper towel and put it down with maybe Yep, the fun part begins. <laughs> you can see I got a little bit of tear out here still. Uh, it's flexing so bad because it's thin that it's just chattering. So you can see the, the ridges that I got to get out. I don't know if you can see them or not. Actually, they came out pretty good. So I'm going to sand this up and we'll get to finishing it. Okay, so um, that says gloss. That's satin. Maybe it'll get shinier with another couple coats. All right, well, <laughs> I, it's kind of a satin finish, if you ask me. I know it looks shiny in there, but it's because there's a light over here. Uh, I mean, it still looks good. It's not the finish I wanted, but... I'm already here. One more. I'll leave it dry. Go at it. What's on that? Up there. Finger wobble type thing going on. So I'll edit all that. Come back out. Hopefully this is dry. You know I'm going to have to fix up in here because I really cranked this out to hold on to that. So I'm probably going to have to fill that with resin. And I'll do that after the fact. The video. <laughs> after I figure out how I'm going to clean it out because I've got no way to hold on to it now. Yep. Last round. Of course, the heater comes on. She's just lovely when the heater comes on. All right, so uh, that no stickers this week. Covered Larry last week. We will put 
the link to Brad Humphrey's video over there. And at the end, with a link to his channel and whatever, for those of you that don't follow him, I mean, he's doing better than me. <laughs> so, most everybody follows him. That I know, anyway. All right. So, uh, this, this took me quite a while because I, I cooked it in the oven. Even after calling Kim and asking her for help with it because she tends to turn wet wood. And she does a little different than you know, most of us turn it dry. She turns it wet and deals with that. Uh, I didn't want to deal with that. She's got way more patience than me even though she says she's impatient. <laughs> so I threw it in the oven which it shrank and cracked and so but you know it is what it is. I add a little bit of resin. It really kind of hides. You can see it but it's it's not standing out screaming at you or very. Uh, you can still feel some of the holes in it. The finish even though it looks glossy in there oh, over there yeah um, it's not really glossy it's more of a satin and then when I wiped it down with the denatured alcohol you see the bottom oh, it's upside down um, so I have to fix this I'm not quite sure how to do it I, I, <laughs> I got nothing to hold on to it with so I don't know how I'm gonna do it I'll figure it out I might be able to just hold on to this lip but then uh, hey, overspray but I didn't go very deep I wanted the weight of the bottom so it wasn't top heavy being as narrow as it is down here and and, and it's cool looking I I like it uh, it was definitely interesting to turn and I, I almost gave up on it and I left it three weeks or so before I finally decided to do it but anyways I need to get in and get some pictures of that so I'll put pictures up at the end edit this a little bit so anyways go over and see Rod uh, who else did I throw under the bus? Uh, well, we threw Larry under the bus last week. So we got Rad. Oh, Jake. I threw Jake under the bus because he's standing. I, I mean, if y'all don't know, that, that actually works out really nice. You can't really see the sand marks in it. And I, you got some down in the bottom there. You can see the swirls in it because I couldn't, I couldn't get in there and sand that. But uh, for the most part, that, that other way, it was just a lot of work. A lot of work. <laughs> is what it is. So uh, give her a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Uh, one other thing, Mr. Banks, I got your email today. Thank you, sir. Um, commenting is encouraged. Uh, the, the the more comments I get, the better it is. The more it gets put over there in the suggested video. So comments are good. Go ahead and comment, even if it's just hey or nice or a thumbs up or something. Uh, go ahead and do that. That's fine. Um, I can't wait to see your pictures. Uh, I'm running out of time. This video's long. Uh, pictures at the end. Thumbs up, thumbs down. I said it already. Um, yep, 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 yep. And we will see you all next week. <laughs> oh. <laughs>